Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing well and as usual, I thank you for joining me here. And before I start this video, I was really excited about making this video. Anything highlighting our Jamaicans in a positive light, I really love and appreciate. So in this video, we're going to be looking at some Jamaicans, a group of Jamaican men that made an entire nation so proud. We were beating pots and pans. Let me tell you something, as Jamaicans, wherever we are in this world, whenever we see that our people are doing well on an international scene, we are show off. We are show off. We're wearing our Jamaican tops. We're speaking so you can hear that we're from Jamaica. That is how we operate. We're a proud people. So we're going to be looking at the early years of the Jamaican football team up until they were dubbed the Reggae Boys, which was in 1998 after they became the first English-speaking country from the Caribbean to ever qualify for the World Cup Finals. All right, let's get into it. This is Whitmore. Paul and Gale both available. It's still Whitmore. Side, which is Tony succeeding in doing. This is Steve Malcolm and Whitmore. Theodore Whitmore. Here comes the black and the brain and the gold. Control, control. Giving everything we got. Heart. Get it on for ten we to the test part. Us to fail the big end of success. Here for my friend. We got to do our best. Better not so decent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rise up, 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 rise When it comes to pinpointing the exact history of Jamaicans and football, it's quite hard to do, but we do have some records available that indicate that football, also known as soccer, was introduced in Jamaica towards the end of the 19th century. And then in 1893 is listed as the year Jamaica formed its first football club. Between 1925 and when Jamaica gained its independence in 1962, Jamaica had regular games with Trinidad and Tobago, Haiti, Cuba, and also clubs like Racing and Violet from Haiti, Corinthians of Britain, we had the Tigers from Argentina, and even a series of matches with a Caribbean All-Star team in 1952. Jamaica's first international appearance was against their Caribbean neighbors, Haiti, and this was in the year 1925. They were invited to the French-speaking Caribbean island by André Chavalon, president of the then United Sporting Society, and it was a three-match series between the two countries. Jamaica won all three games by 1-0, 2-1, and 3-0. Jamaica hosted their Haitian counterparts at Sabina Park and won by 6-0. The Haitians remained frequent opponents, and it was not until the year 1932 that their run of the defeats was broken with a 4 to one home win in Port of Spain. Now Jamaica went to the conference table confident in her own future as an independent country and determined to bring the date of fulfillment as near as possible. Large numbers of well-wishers turned out to see him leave from Palisados Airport. With him and the other delegates went the hopes of Jamaica and the country's confidence that regardless of party, all would be together in the common cause of independence. 
1962, when Jamaica gained its independence, the Jamaica Football Federation became a part of FIFA. At the 1962 Central American and Caribbean Games played in Jamaica, the national team was led by Brazilian coach Jorge Pena. At this time, Jamaica made their first attempt at qualifying for the 1966 World Cup, which was held in England. The preliminary group included Cuba, the Netherlands, Antilles, and Jamaica. Jamaica's first game was against Cuba, which they won 2-0 at Jamaica's National Stadium. And then in the qualifying match against the Netherlands Antilles, Jamaica also had a 2-0 victory. In the return match away from home against the Netherlands Antilles, that ended up being a goalless draw. We then had Jamaica competing with Cuba and they were defeated 2-1. Jamaica then advanced to the final group of three, which included Costa Rica and Mexico. The winner of this group would represent the CONCACAF region. Jamaica lost at home to Mexico 3-2 and in the return leg in Mexico City, the altitude must have been too high because Jamaica was defeated 8-0 and then again they lost to Costa Rica 7-0. Jamaica then played Costa Rica at home to a one-all draw but they were eliminated and did not advance to the 1966 World Cup. Chelsea 2. So the World Cup was always assured of a right royal welcome. The solid gold cup was designed by a Frenchman in 1930. It's insured for nearly £3,000. their way through the preliminary rounds and they failed. Scotland came near but finally went down to Italy. In January 1967, Jamaica attempted to qualify for the CONCACAF Championship but was eliminated after finishing third in the group of five. In 1968, the Jamaican football team had a change of coach. His name was George Hamilton. As he took leadership of the group, he attempted to qualify for the 1970 World Cup Finals in Mexico. Jamaica had only a couple remaining players from the previous World Cup team and had to rebuild because most of the players had retired or they had migrated to North America and England. In 1974, Jamaica withdrew from the World Cup, and this was because 17 players were accused of bad behavior while they were on a tour to Bermuda. Jamaica withdrew from the elimination rounds in order to restructure their team. The 1978 World Cup in Argentina saw Jamaica playing Cuba and losing 3-1 at the National Stadium. They then played Cuba in the home match and lost again 2-0 and they did not qualify. In 1982, Jamaica did not make an attempt for the World Cup final set in Spain due to insufficient funds and a poorly prepared team. Jamaica did not participate in the 1986 World Cup because suspension for affiliation fees that was due to FIFA was not paid. In preparation for the 1990 World Cup with coach Jeffrey Maxwell, Jamaica won both preliminary games against Puerto Rico 1-0 in Jamaica and in the home match they won again 2-0. The U.S. were the next opponents and was held to a goalless draw. The return leg in the U.S. saw Jamaica losing 5-1, bringing an end to their qualifying attempt.
The United States hosted the World Cup in 1994. In the qualifying rounds, Jamaica beat Puerto Rico 2-1 and was then faced with Bermuda, Canada and El Salvador, from which two teams would advance to the final round. Jamaica tied one all with Canada and Bermuda and then lost 2-0 to El Salvador, 1-0 to Canada, 2-1 to El Salvador. Jamaica then beat Bermuda 3-2 but did not qualify. Trinidad and Tobago in a World Cup qualifier. Already 2-1 up from the first leg, Jamaica extend their lead with a goal from Davis, a professional in Israel. Trinidad and Tobago were the last team eliminated in the 1990 qualification and they keep their 94 hopes alive with a goal from Haynes. Jamaica hold on for the aggregate win and they move into the second. Next round. Further south, but still in Group B, Jamaica were at home to Bermuda. Hector Wright opened the score for the home team after 10 minutes. And indeed, Jamaica were to go 2-0 ahead. Just five minutes later, Roderick Reed making it 2-0, and that's indeed the half-time score. But Bermuda were to come back somewhat in the second half. Sean Gota making it 2-1 after 60 minutes. Making the most of the goalkeeping error. And indeed, Bermuda were to level the scores just six minutes later. Kenneth Painter making it to all. Jamaica were to have the last say. A penalty by Hector Wright after 73 minutes. 3-2, the final score. For Jamaica in green meet Canada in Kingston. Wright raises the expectations of the capacity 25,000 crowd in the national stadium when he scores in the 70th minute. But Jamaican hopes are dashed when Mitchell equalizes five minutes from time. Despite a last-minute assault, the match ends in a draw which leaves Bermuda as surprise leaders of the group. Well, in Group B, we now know the names of the two teams who will, who will go through to that next qualifying phase after El Salvador beat Jamaica in Kingston yesterday. Again, we don't have all the goals to show you, but this try by Milton Melavides made it 1-0 after seven minutes, and he himself made it 2-0 in the second half. 2-0, the final score between El Salvador and Jamaica. Jamaica tasted success for the first time in an organized international competition when they won the Caribbean Football Union title, the Shell Cup and this was in 1991. Two years later, they performed creditable in the CONCACAF Gold Cup and they placed third under the leadership of coach Carl Brown himself, a former national player.
In 1994, Captain Horace Borrell, a retired Army officer and vice president of the Caribbean Football Union, was elected president of the Jamaica Football Federation, replacing attorney Heron Dale. Borrell lined up corporate support for the vision of the Jamaican football team, a Brazilian coach, and qualifications for the World Cup in four years' time. His view was that it was essential to attract the corporate support to build the rest of the football program. He then asked the government for help in identifying a coach in Brazil and he also brought business leaders on board. In 1994, everything started to change for the reggae boys and they immediately started to improve once they got Brazilian coach René Simões, who became the technical director of football. Jamaica! Jamaica, number one. He immediately set about instilling his own philosophy, which was that of hard work and rigid discipline among all the players. In stark contrast to what the players used to get before, they were now paid a decent salary and this was courtesy of the members of the business community and they all lived permanently at one location in Kingston. International Games became a regular fixture at the National Stadium and the team was taken on one month camp to Brazil in January 1995 and 1996. They also went to Africa in 95 and Argentina in 96. In 1995, the team progressed rapidly and was voted the best movers of the year by FIFA. Stand up for your right. Get up, stand up. Don't give up the fight. The qualifying stages for the 1998 World Cup in France began in March 1996 and by the end of the year, after the Jamaican team played 10 games, they topped the CONCACAF semi-final qualifying round with a 1-0 victory over Mexico at the National Stadium of Jamaica, which was on November 16, 1996. La última línea de Mexico. Era Camilo Romero. Volvemos a soñar, Andrés, todavía se puede. ¡Al primer palo! ¡Gol! 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 ¡De Jamaica! ¡Gol de Jamaica! Godison desata la locura en Kingston, Jamaica le gana a México y asegura su clasificación con el gol de Godison. One year later, on November 17, Jamaica, now popularly known as the Reggae Boys, finished third in the CONCACAF's final round for the first time, earning a spot to the World Cup in France along with Mexico and the United States. This was the first time an English-speaking Caribbean country had qualified for the World Cup. Une victoire de la Jamaïque face au Santos Football Club du Brésil. Une semaine de folie des reggae boys s'achevant en apothéose à Kingston.
tournament, the Reggae Boys played in Group H alongside Argentina and two first-timers, Japan and Croatia. Jamaica lost 1-3 to Croatia in the first game, with Robbie Earl scoring for the Reggae Boys. They then lost 0-5 to Argentina before they beat Japan 2-1 in the final game of the preliminary round, with both goals coming from midfielder Theodore Whitmore. Fullback, Shuke off the crossbar, Stanich! Oh, he... Cross, Robbie Earl! Oh, he met it so well! Ozinetsky, all the completely, and it's got in! Two up for the cross. Shukes made himself a bit of room, and he's been given a bit more here. And he makes it three in spite of the defense. That's a lovely ball, Ortega scores a beautiful goal. Oh, good change of pace by Ortega, gets him through the gap. That's another lovely goal. He's here. Oh, that's a cracking drive from Batistuta. Sheer pace. So much space they've given Batistuta here! And it... Batistuta with the chance of the hat trick, which he takes! ジャマイカの先制ゴール。11番のウィットモア。試合連続の失点です。やはり高さに対してそのセカンドプレーですよね。ゴールが運ばれたんですけど。さあ、ウィットモアです。中にゲールがいる。要注意です。シュート。ロペスのヘディングはもう一度。日本1点を返しました。日本のワールドカップ史上の初ゴールは。This remains the Reggae Boys' first and only appearance in the World Cup despite many attempts to qualify for the Games. Although the team has yet to win the Gold Cup, the Reggae Boys are the only Caribbean team to have made it to the quarterfinals or higher four years in a row. The results from 13 appearances at the Caribbean Cup are six wins, which was in 1991, 1998, 2005, 2008, 2010, and 2000. And 14. They were third runner up positions in 1992, 93, and 2017, and two third place positions in 1997 and 1999. Football is ingrained in the Jamaican culture, and this is from a very early age. We will support every match from the community level to schoolboy competitions like Manning's and the Da Costa Cup. But you can rest assured that whatever we are doing, we will put that to a halt when it's time to support the Jamaican national football team, the Reggae Boys. I thank you all for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you all in the next video. Video. Until then, take care of yourselves, one love.